בוקר טוב, שתוק אגליק. I'm just going over the codes that I did yesterday. They did not stop here and stop there, you know. See, but each name means something. So, if you take this name and see what it means, then take this name, see what it means, take this name, is, you'll probably get a whole damn sentence that you can't probably comprehend. However, this is where I was at. Right here. Because this is your time, okay? So, what my children were younger, you know, um, some of the neighbors, not all, would tease my children to say that I am boozy. Well, I didn't know to take that as a compliment or an insult. Anyways, this word right here is C-H-I. That is your child. It's like, you know, what they tell you is your life. I was also born in Chicago, C-H-I. And uh, C-H-I is also the root word of chow. So I decided to go and see what this word means. C-H-I-B-U-Z-O. Here we go. It appears that this is a tribe. But I find my tribe in here. My tribe I was belong to long, 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 long time ago. It is Chai Buzu behind the name. It is a gender which is masculine and feminine. So Chai Bu means your children. It is Western African. There's the tribe I'm from, I-G-B-O. And I also found this this um, name, Igbo. I found it also when I was doing Kaya and West. Because Kaya and West is a C-H-I. After I did the video, like weeks later, then I found out that uh, Kaya, yes, Kanye West. See, his name is Kanye West. And it says Western African. Okay. <laughs> So Kanye and West, they uh, begin to write the Bible over. And where it said Lord or whatever, he put Kanye. <laughs> oh, wow, I said, I, my brothers, they have some balls. They just don't know how to stand on them in the right places. Now, we're going to go to the meaning in history. Maybe not too much of the history, but the meaning. It means God leads the way. So, I try, I don't know if it was, this word is God, because um, where I'm from, we are gods, you know what I'm saying? So, God leads the way means you lead the way. And this is what they did right here, see? They put Ezekiel first. As though Ezekiel will lead the way to fame. Now, so now I go to this word fame, and it says it is a temple or it is a shrine. No, this is not a um, a physical temple. You know, between your temples, there's your mind. So, now let's just say here, in Ezekiel will lead the way to your mind, okay? And this, this name here, uh, Laura, has something to do with evil, you know, wicked, and if your name is Laura, that's not my father, I didn't name you that, that's what it means, we're not supposed to have their names anyway. But it's funny that Nora, Laura is right next to Julian. Now I looked up Laura on this machine, uh, but it could not take me back to the late 1800s. As my, it was in a thesaurus, not a synonym vendor. It was in a thesaurus. 
Yes, it was in a thesaurus, and uh, that thesaurus was copyrighted in 1926. 1926. Well, now I look at these names, and well, I can imagine how the words obtained from 1926. So I could not find um, the information on this name that I found um, in 1926. But now I want to go and see what F E R R E R means because it's right next to this bitch. Okay, see, I go here. It is actually a surname. But, uh, Farah is an occupational surname for a blacksmith or iron worker. Now, they call us black, you know, and um, if you deal with the word smith, then you have internet technology. Then they said it is an iron worker. My daughter is a female, the F-E, chemical element for iron. Derived from the Latin word and thus, she has a common occupational derivation with the most common English surname, Smith. It is one of the most common, whatever, 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 and the surname, who gives a fuck. There's the three six nigga. The surname Ferrer is a variant of the surnames. So the A came before the E. St. Vincent, I saw that. Okay, so now they just want to give me the names of those. No, I want the definition of this shit. So here we have Catalina. Isn't it something? Yes, I was just wanting to, you know, play with this word a little bit. Turn the camera off and play with it. However, I go further down and I almost left. So now let's go to the English name. Is originally Norman. There was Norman in the code. It was Norman Bettina Robert. Because it's okay for them to rob me. It says deriving, deriving in this instance from the place name, whatever, and then there's your saint. This is almost like Hitler. They just took out the T to hide it. And all this other shit, these names. Man, they, they, studying like this can take you on forever and ever and ever. And uh, having come to England with William the Conqueror. Hmm. There's a name in there. It is Julian. Julian's first name is William. And he is the Conqueror. He is conquering my daughter's mind. He knows everything that's fucking going on. Because he calls her, she calls him. They stay on the phone for hours. Every step she makes, she's telling him about it. And this is how people can conquer you. When you begin to tell them stupid shit. Um, and like yesterday, uh, I went and I was talking about... um. They took my grandbaby on, um, I said, we came up with a number 420, but I, I, I just want to get back to that. But I just want to show you that, um, William is the conqueror. Here, William, now he, be tur he turns into a steward with his name. That means he is a blacksmith. Or a non-worker. And I'm going to ask my daughter exactly what does he does. I know he works with them. Damn. Oh, whatever. You know, they snatch this shit. That, that's in a code too. I'm going to go back and show you that in a code. Um, but he, he goes back and forth to, uh, I think it's Philadelphia. Hmm. Their place of brotherly love. Mm -hmm. Now, he is also 
the father of Saint Vincent. You know where I live? It belongs to Saint Vincent. But not Fira. It belongs to Saint Vincent de Paul. Where I live it. You see? It's just too much of me coming up in these bitches. And there's your CIA at the end. And CIA is in here too. Christian bastards to aid in the restoration of Christian rule in Valencia. And see, that's what they want to do. I did not raise my children as Christians. As I said, they tried to talk the hell out of me. Hmm. As I said, I did not raise my children as Christians. You know? I, 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 I asked my children to guard themselves against a Christian. Because see, C-I-A. Also targeted individual internet technology. But I didn't know about targeted individual, no internet technology, but I know about CIA. And then they want to show you who they really, really are. They put it at the end, CIA. No, I'm going to play a game and get my name out of here. So this guy is a Scottish lawyer. He comes from B I T I N E. I use every letter here. Except for the R, and the R was for ruler, is for ruler. So, now that I have broken this down, and I also found William, and he is the conqueror, I know that somehow William has something to do um, with these codes. Can he write these codes? I don't know. Um, could William be Zay? I don't know. I don't know what he looks like. And uh, and none of the Hebrews. I don't even know if I can contact them. And they probably don't even know that I'm doing these videos. And the Hebrews that do know I'm doing these videos, they're not going to tell. And something else. Look at the views. 20, 7, 7, 7. This is all about the lineage of Harry Mabel. And what the fuck they're doing to us. And they give me seven, seven, seven. Three sevens to roll. And there's another seven. I'm going to roll the fuck out of these numbers. Let me fuck their asses up. See, you don't fuck with somebody. Take everything they have and leave them with the mind. That's all you left me with, you nasty bastards. Is my mind. Boy, was that the worst thing you can do? They know you tried to take my mind, you still do. You're trying to give me Alzheimer's. I read it in the codes. You know you gave Jenkins Alzheimer's. So now you want to try to give it to me. That's why you wrote in the code. Oh, I forgot his name. I say that a lot in my videos. Now I forgot, I forgot. But I also say, that is your bitch ass. This nest that damn thought out of my mind. So here... This is actually talking about what the military says, you know, not to fear, whatever. And then Katy Perry, and then there's a feud. But it says not to fear, but there's a feud. But here we have April 20th, 2015. This is when either the code was reactivated, or they actually made this code. So I'm going to start this off here. It was... April 14th, when my daughter contacted me, you know? And uh, she just wanted to say no. I had not spoken to her since I don't know when. This is the one they had to throw the uh, water in my face. So I did not speak to her, you know? And, but I let her know, you know, because they come and they'll speak to you, they will not apologize. So that's mostly what I was talking to her about. You know, that she needed to apologize, you know. And she says, so of course, I'd never attempt to kill you. Who in the fuck knows? I don't know what they do when they can put your ass on the wire. They're fucking all up in your head and shit. I don't know that. Okay, so now this. It's April 20th. I get in touch with her to, you know, I just wanted to 
um, my touch base or sense of energy to my grandbaby. Hmm, wrong energy, I guess. She said, okay, he said to tell you, thank you. So, on 420, see, April 20, 3.50 p.m., she still had your cow. Okay. Also, 420, uh, you know what day that is, right? Most of you think it is a smoke weed day. You done to dance. They get you to celebrate this ugly bastard. April 20th, 1889. See, and my daughter, they can play around with April 20th. Because my daughter, she is an 88. Hmm. I think the prophet, he came before, he is an 88 too. I'm going to see. Noble Drew Ali, born Timothy Drew in North Carolina in 18. 86 1886 So I am going to see what month. See, I, I know this shit. I just forget it all. Oh, okay. I don't want to go up in there and start to read. Uh, this will be a whole new damn thing. Um. I have to open it up just to see what money he was born. She had hit the whole damn page them there. More Saints Temple, 20th. See, I don't want to go and read it all. In 1913. Wow, 1913. Drew Ali formed the Canaanite Temple in New York City. Now, this is a lie. See, this is when you know that um, Quantel Pro is stepped in. Canaanites are pink. But you don't go and tell the Moors that it will start a war. Because their minds are trained to think this. See, one, two, three, six, six, six. And the Canaanite is after the 13th. The 13th stunner. So, had nothing, we have nothing to do with the Canaanite. That's why he came to me to tell me certain things, you know, uh, Chicago Defender. This has to be a better way for me to get his birthday. And he registered temple number nine. Well, the number nine. Um, York can really speak on the number nine. You see, I, I, I just tapped in Hitler's birthday, you see? You see what the fuck they give me? He comes right the fuck up. Adolf Hitler, day of birth. He, the bitch just comes right up. Stone-faced bastard. So, I do the same thing for the prophet and look what I get. When the fuck is the prophet's picture? Because in this world, it is not about the melanated man. It's only about the caveman, Neanderthal bastards. That's what. Anyway, they say he is born January the 8th. 1880. 89, I think it was. Let me go and see. Okay, so now the property is born in 1886. Hitler is born in 1889. So the prophet. Is three years older than this ugly stone faced bastard. But notice, he has a nine, like the nine at the, which the pink bitch ain't. And the prophet, he has a six. But it's still the 88. And my daughter, she is born in 88. So these bastards, <laughs> wow, they are very cunning. So they have to match up so many things and they have to make, they have to connect the dots in so many ways. So now, April 20th is um, the day my 
And my daughter tells me, she doesn't have Yaka, I think. But um, April 20th is Hitler's birthday. What did Hitler do? Mind control bullshit. So they really did need to pull this shit off to take the prophet and to lock him up at the age of seven. There's a reason for that too. The jaded motherfuckers with their jealous ass. Now that your military. So they're using military programs to fuck around with my daughter and my grandbaby. See, because now they become the practice targets. I'm no longer a practice target because they know what's going on. When you are a practice target, you think of something. You practice something. What do you do when you practice it? You keep going and going and going until you perfect it. So, what they have done to me, they're going to now per perfect it on my daughter. Yet, my daughter is still a practice target. They use me to perfect the practice. Now they think they're going to use my daughter. Well, I begat them. I'm about to send something out to these motherfuckers. I don't know what. But something is going to get the get their asses. And, it, and it's not going to be a physical thing. Not really. I mean, you know, like if they get hit by that Mack truck. Okay, that's physical. But I'm not driving the truck. Oh, well, she said it in a video. That's why I ain't coming and get me. Because I said a Mack truck going to hit your ass. I don't even know where you are. I don't even know what you look like. But a Mack truck is still going to hit your ass. Shit talker. Now you won't.